What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Listen, we need to talk. Look at these tier sets. Look at these tier sets. These are so dope, man. I don't even like the gold color as much as like the other colors, but man, it just it just looks dope. Get your freaking coffee. Let's go, okay? Let's go. Oh, I just made it. It's so hot. Oh my god, my mouth. Okay. Listen. Today, drum roll please, we are doing <laughs> the fourth build for Enhancement Shaman. Fourth? Yeah. Yeah, there's like four builds now. Anyway, <laughs> this is another build for Enhancement Shaman. It's not like entirely different than the fire build, but it does have some significant differences, a couple of very important differences, okay? And we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you some demo on the on the dummies here. I want to talk about a couple things right out of the gates first. First of all, we do have the tier set bonus. This is a fire and ice build. Okay, this is the fire and ice build. So, what do we what does that mean? It means we're going down the fire line, but we 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 stop halfway through and we get Hailstorm instead of Fire Nova. We have Swirling Maelstrom, of course, and then we have Ice Strike. Ice Strike doubles the damage of Hailstorm, and Blizzard has recently added some further um, bonuses to these abilities. So, for example, consuming at least two stacks of Maelstrom weapon right here will um, grant you one stack of Maelstrom weapon. Grant you... Uh, yeah. Consuming two stacks of Hailstorm gives you Maelstrom Weapon. Using Ice Strike at all will now give you a Maelstrom Weapon stack. Okay, important to know. Those are all cooling down your wolves with Wolf Witch, Doctor, Witch Doctor's Ancestry. And then we're going Elemental Spirits because this is the build. We've done the Fire build, which focuses almost entirely on fire damage. We've done the Thorm's Invocation build, which focuses almost entirely on physical damage with Legacy of the Frost Witch. I've also done... Um, just sort of a standard build with, like, Primordial Wave. So there's some fire stuff, but then there's just basically Crash Lightning, Chain Lightning. It's like that's all you're doing with, like, Doom Winds, right? We've done that kind of build with a Doom Winds, Crash Lightning, Alpha uh, Legacy of the Frost Witch once again, and Alpha Wolf down here. This build is the best build for Elemental Spirits because it has Fire, Frost, and Nature Damage. It gets all three of them. So... It is the absolute best build to utilize Elemental Spirits. The other builds, like the Fire build, has Fire Nova, but you're never casting Frost Shock. Um, and then you're really, you know, you're always kind of doing Lightning Damage because of Chain Lightning, which is fantastic. So um, that's a good thing there. But sometimes it's really hard to utilize the Frost side of the Elemental Spirits. And if you press Feral Spirits and you get two Frost Wolves and you're running the Fire build, it feels a little bit bad. So this build utilizes all three elements, which is really, really great. It also utilizes Primordial Wave, which, again, helps to cool down the, the dogs. We want the Elemental Spirits up as much as possible. So Primordial Wave gives us 10 stacks of Maelstrom Weapon. Hailstorm will give us stacks of Maelstrom Weapon. Ice Strike gives us stacks of Maelstrom Weapon. Storm Strike gives us stacks of Maelstrom Weapon. And now, with the Tier Set bonus, which also gets utilized with this, this will also give you an additional stack of Maelstrom Weapon um, from Storm Strike, increases the damage of Lava Lash, and then makes it generate a stack of Maelstrom Weapon. So Lava Lash traditionally is terrible at generating stacks of Maelstrom Weapon, but it helps with the tier set coming in Season 1 of Dragonflight. You get to do that now. So also with the set bonus, the 4-piece set bonus cools down a random ability. Frost Shock, uh, Crash Lightning, and Storm Strike are the ones that we really, really want to cool down with this build. So it feeds into all three of those, which is really, really great. I'm going to show you a demonstration here in a second. Let's just look at this here. So this was a dungeon that I just did. You can see top three damage sources, frost, fire, lightning, frost, fire, lightning, and then more fire and then more lightning, right? That's just how it's going to work. You're going to get all three elements. This is essentially the Trinity build for Enhancement Shaman. We had a Trinity build for Elemental Shaman. There's now a Trinity build for Enhancement Shaman. But it's a little bit more of a Fire and Ice build. It does have Lightning Bolt. Don't get me wrong. But uh, Chain Lightning, sorry, rather, for AoE. Let me just reload so that all my icons actually work correctly because it's been bugging out. So here's how it's going to work on the dummies, okay? You're going to always start with your Wolves. Never, ever, ever cast Primordial Wave before you cast your wolves. Why? Because you've got this talent. Primordial Wave gives you 10 stacks of Maelstrom Weapon. It's going to cool down your dogs. 
Don't ever cast wave before dogs. Dogs first, wave here, spread it around. Let's get a fifth one over there just for good measure. Sundering, and then we're going to Lightning Bolt into Ice Strike into Frost Shock. Big, big damage, okay? Then we're going to keep going. Let me just uh, get this on the right page here. What's going on? This doesn't want to change. Oh, my God. I want to change. Oh, hold on. We'll do it again. What the heck? Damage? What's this? What is this? Why is it up there? <laughs> I love when these things bug out. This is just, it's just the best. We'll do it again. Don't worry. It cools down the dogs so freaking fast it doesn't even matter. We're not using Doom Winds. We're not using Wind Fury at all. This is Fire, Frost, and Lightning damage coming through here. Let me show you again because that was pretty garbage. Here we go. Pharaoh Spirits. Primordial Wave. Spread it around. One more over here. Sundering. Into Lightning Bolt. Here we go. Ice Strike to get our Frost Shock doing lots of extra damage. Now, we're tab targeting through to get extra damage uh, from, from our uh, Flame Shock. Lashing Flames, right? We'll buff the damage. Wolves are back. They've probably been back for a while. Here we go. Big Frost Shock coming in here. Boom. Went from 65k DPS to 68k. That's how much damage it's doing. Frost Shock is crazy. It's doing crazy damage. Wolves are almost back. Ice Strike into Frost Shock again. Boom. Big, big damage. Primordial Wave's coming back. I'm going to wait till the Wolves are back first. Okay. Wolves. Then Primordial Wave. Let's get another one. There we go. Lightning Bolt into Ice Strike. Frost Shock. Always want to Ice Strike before Frost Shock if you can. But again, our tier set is cooling down Frost Shock, which is so fantastic. It really is. Look, Frost Shock's back already because we hit a Spender. There, Frost Shock's going to be back again. We're going to hit another Spender. So, whether or not it's giving you, like, basically, Hot Hand is going to be giving you your Lava Lash all the time. And then the tier set bonus is going to be giving you your Frost Shock back all the time. Because you don't really press Storm Strike. So, you're just juggling those two abilities. And it does crazy amounts of damage, you can see. We'll get one more round of um, the Primordial Wave in here. Okay, here we go. Wolves are back. Here we go. Primordial Wave over there. And here we go. Boom. Go, 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 go. Ice Strike. Frost Shock. Ice Strike's cooling down quicker because we have speed. Wolves are back already. One more Ice Strike. Or, sorry, one more Frost Shock. Then we'll do an Ice Strike into a Frost Shock, and that's it. That's the build. 70k. We're finishing at 70k there. So, there you go. That's the damage breakdown. Chain Lightning. Frost Shock. Flame Shock. Again, Flame Shock is up there because of Lashing Flames. Doubling the damage. You have to keep tab targeting through enemies to get that buff, but that's how it works. That's the build. It's very, very simple. Actually, it's a little bit more complicated to, like, execute. Here's one of the big bonuses. Here's why you would want to do this over Fire Nova. Fire Nova has really good uncapped AoE potential, as we've always talked about. You saw in my last Fire, the one where I did the Fire build in my last video... I hit Fire Nova, and it did 200k damage. Just boom. Six targets, all getting hit by each Fire Nova. 200,000 damage, just straight up. So it has the potential to do even more damage. If you had 10, 12 targets, it's going to hit any target like around the Fire Nova, right? So it's just really, really big uncapped AoE damage. Frost Shock, this, this Hailstorm build, is much more about the cleave. You're only hitting up to five enemies here. So Frost Shock hits one additional target per Maelstrom weapon stack consumed up to five. So sorry, you hit six targets. This is that six target cap. So this is all about having like six targets. If you're getting six targets with this build, you will do insane amounts of damage. If you get more than six targets, your damage would fall off a little bit compared to something like Fire Nova. So that's really the big difference between the two of them. And it's just important to like understand that difference. Okay, let's switch over here. Fire and Ice build, right? Let me switch over here. Let's see some dungeon footage here. Okay. Let me turn on the volume just a little bit. So here's like two target cleave. It's important to see all the different variants. We're already doing 35k, 32, 40k here. On two target cleave, we're doing 42k. That's really, Wait, really good. Please stop lagging. 44k on two target cleave. Again, we do have high item level. I do have a tier set bonus. You need to pretend like these are numbers that you're going to see in like the midsection of season one when you actually have 
you're like a few weeks into your season one and you've actually gotten your tier set bonus, maybe maybe three or four weeks into season one. So just remember that that is the case, okay? 55k, 56k here on a bigger AoE pack. This tank didn't pull very big, um, but this dungeon doesn't necessarily demand that you pull very big. It has a lot of small packs of enemies, packs of like three to five. Again, we're doing 44k there. So the damage profile is really, really good. Um, if there's any like interrupts from enemies, so if you ever get silenced by an enemy, which in, there's two dungeons actually in the rotation right now where like you will get interrupted and, and silenced, which is crazy. And so if it, if it stops you from casting a particular school, you have two other schools. You have lightning damage, fire this? damage, and this? frost damage. So here comes oh. some big damage. Let's watch this really quickly. So ready for this? I'm doing 300,000 damage right now. 300,000 damage I've done total. Ready for this? Ready? 310, 315, 446. It did 140k, basically. Oh my god. My man. frost shock there. Wait, let me look at that again one more time. Ready what for this? I? Ready for this? 315. Oh. 455, 540. Oh it did, God. like, almost 200k right there, like, right ri in quick succession. So it's just, like, this is what I'm talking about. It hits really hard. The frost shock that you get when you press ice strike, it doubles the damage, and then when it cleaves, it does outrageous amounts of damage. Just, like, really, really good stuff. So. Oh, my God, the double. There it is right there. Boom, 683. How much was I at right there? I'm at 340. 420, 425, 430, 430k to 680. Look at the look at the numbers on your screen. 65k, 63k, 64k over here, 32, 32. Like it did so much damage, right? It did like 180k plus 60. It did like 250, 260 damage. Oh thousand my God, damage. Double damage. It just hits so hard. It's outrageous how much damage it does. Here's a single target boss fight. Good, good little test here. This is where this Frost Shock build does better than the Fire Nova build. Because the Frost Shock that you're getting will have increased damage from Hailstorm and increased damage from Ice Strike. It does double damage from Ice Strike. So you can see we're doing 38k right now on single target. If you had the Fire Nova build, you'd be doing less damage because Fire Nova doesn't do any extra damage to one target. It does lots of damage to multiple targets, and Hailstorm does lots of damage to six targets, but Hailstorm also makes your frost shock do more damage to one target and that's really oh important God, to understand that's really important to understand single target. you're getting in a big extra boon of damage hey. from uh, on on single target it's let me skip ahead here again 45k on aoe packs these are small aoe packs again if we were pulling 10 mobs together I do think that we would start to lose out in our damage a little bit compared to some of the other oh, classes that have bigger uncapped yeah. aoe like a windwalker monk um uh, a demon hunter, for example, but we're doing 60k, guys. Like, it's it's good. It's really, really good. Um, let's get to this the next boss here. Let me just skip ahead. Boom, 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 boom. Here's the trash right before the next boss. We're doing 53k here, 54. Keeping up with that demon hunter. He's oh, there we got ahead of the demon hunter. We're basically tied. He's gonna probably catch up to me again. Solid 60k there on like four to five targets. Again, this is the niche for this build. You're hitting between up to six targets is really what you want. That's that's what you're looking for. I didn't have Feral Lunge I for this fight. Lunge, man. Now I, that I got the yeah. for Feral Lunge, yeah. that's all I want now. I'm really noticing that if I don't have Feral Lunge, I feel so bad. Like, that one dungeon where I did Feral yeah, Lunge, holy crap, man. It has it spoiled in. me. It is really, really good to have Feral Lunge. Um, so we're doing less damage here. With this spear, by the way, guys, see I have a chain attached to me right now. You need to run this chain through the boss. And then it'll stop him from doing his big ability. See, it stunned him right now. He's That's stunned to do with the spear, by the way. because I ran the chain right through him. I mean, by the way, I should have everything lit up. We did about 31k at the end here. We're doing, yeah, 30. It's procking on my screen, by the way. I should have everything lit up, and it's not. Yeah. So that's kind of frustrating. Halfway through this dungeon, all my uh, abilities in the bottom stopped procking. Like, it stopped lighting up, which is a big thing for my brain. That's how I play Enhancement Shaman. I have to, like, wait for it to light up, and then I know that I can press it, right? And it's like... Ooh. It just it just messed up. Anyway, then our tank went offline, so I summoned Rocky, and we pushed forward with Rocky. So let's skip ahead here, because we have no tank now for the rest of the dungeon, by the way. He doesn't come back. We do end up kicking him here. We're all screwed up, though. And then whoever the leader of the group is doesn't end up getting another tank, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Again, big AoE damage. 60k. 60k AoE damage here on five targets. 
Really, really good stuff. Here's a single target like mini boss. We're getting in there, doing as much damage as we can. Up to 21k. It's super, super good. Here's a big trash pack here. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six enemies here. I don't think I got a really good start on this fight, but we still get up to 55k, 60k by the end of it. Everything's dying too fast. If this was Mythic Plus, it'd last a lot longer, and we could get that sustained damage going, right? But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just, uh, it's a little too quick. Here's the next boss. This is a Forge guy. He's single target for a bit, and then we do have AoE near the end. I don't have Primordial Wave up, but I do have my Wolves up. Wolves are just always up, guys, which is so cool. Every single build for Enhancement Shaman, basically, you just have your Wolves up all the time, and it's a really good feeling because they generate Maelstrom weapon stacks for you. Um, they buff your damage. In this case, for this build, it's always relevant. Right now, I have a Lightning Dog and an Ice Dog up, so I'm getting 15% more damage I'm, you know, to my Lightning Bolts and to my Frost Shock. Like, you're always getting that extra damage, and it's so, so good. This build is so good at utilizing elemental spares. Look at my damage right here. 75k, almost 80k on four targets. This is four freaking targets. I got a hot hand proc, and I just tab targeted through. Got a big, juicy Primordial Wave proc as well, which then led to my uh, Ice Strike into a Frost Shock. I end up with 65k, 60k at the end here. Just, like, outrageous damage for four targets. It's really, really good. They added some new trash in here. This is brand new trash in this dungeon. I'd never seen this before. So this is cool. Actually, don't mind. You have to kind of fight them on the furnace here, too, which is actually quite difficult and can start to burn you. And if you don't have a tank, it starts to hurt. So then this guy, this bird thing does this, like, uh, he pushes you back. I think it's designed to push you onto the furnace, right? The furnace area that's burning. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. So then there's more up ahead. Another bird after these two big guys. There it is right here. Here's a big AoE pack. We start off a little slow, but I get my big primary wave lightning bolt going, and now we're off to the races. 40k almost. Back up to 40k. We're fighting to stay at 40k there. Pretty good damage. Then we just pull the last boss. Uh, the demon hunter just wanted to get out of here, I guess. So off we go. I'll get my wolves up here in a second. Wolves. I press lust. Now we have a lot of haste going, and it gets way better for us. Again, every single enhancement shaman build just gets tremendously better when you've got haste. But let me just review this build really quickly. This essentially has a lot of fire stuff, and then it, you pivot into the Hailstorm Frost Shock stuff with Ice Strike. So really, your big spenders are obviously Chain Lightning in Mythic Plus, and then after your Chain Lightning, you get a really juicy Frost Shock that does massive AoE damage with Hailstorm. Big, big AoE damage. Um, and then your the other biggest talent that you're looking at is Lashing Flames. Tab targeting through enemies with a Hot Hand proc on your Lava Lash, and you just double the damage of all your Frost Shock, your uh, Flame Shock, sorry. Nice. And again, this build just really utilizes nice. elemental spirits. The buff on the on the feral spirits that makes them makes you do 15% fire, frost, right. and nature damage. That is what it's all about. So let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments down below. This is the fire and ice build making its way into Dragonflight. It's looking really, really strong, guys. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. As always, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.